run this is Bruno with a new segment called 10 Minutes or Less with Bruno No BS. A very simple casual interview. No fence camera. Today I have the honor to speak with Brandon from Upset Cody's. How you doing, buddy? I'm wonderful. How are you, Bruno? Tell me something. How long have you been in the roofing industry? I've been in the roofing industry for quite a while, over 10 years. Um, when I was actually, yeah, almost close to 12 or 13. Um, when I was about 20 or 21, I, I had a small security company that I... I thought you were <laughs> yeah. 21, actually. You look like 21. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. It's the baby face. Um, yeah, we should uh, that, man. <laughs> uh, it's so... Yeah, I started a small security company when I was 21, and while I was still trying to get that going, I had a very good friend from a roofing company here called Columbia Roofing and Sheet Metal. They he hired me on to uh, just be on a tear off crew, do do the do the hard work, and I kind of fell in love with the industry and and working hard and doing the tear off and learning about all the different systems. And then I kind of got out of it for a while, and then I sold my security company. Kind of wanted to do something different, missed it. So I went back to Columbia and ended up running leaks as a service guy and then went there from there to project coordinator to project manager. Then I went to another company and was doing service management. So, uh, and some estimation and been around, done, done a few things and kind of fell in love with codings after that and kind of left to start my own thing. So when did you realize roofing would be a career for you? I think probably after I sold my security company, um, I kind of missed being in the field and working. It's nice to learn how to, to do different, different things and learn how to investigate the leak from start to finish. And I think that's probably where it started. And I did a few coatings uh, throughout my time there and other places and kind of, I kind of just enjoyed the process of coatings and I found that not a lot of people were doing it. So that's kind of how I ended up doing what I'm doing now. You're still in the military, right? Yes, myself and my business partner, Stan, are, are still in the military, both in the guard. Honestly, what it comes down to is time management and, and learning how to, to prioritize and kind of put things in boxes. I got to deal with this first, deal with this second. And once I do this, I can move on. And I think trying to multitask, I've always thought that multitasking is, is um, not necessarily the greatest thing if you want to give quality to what you're focusing on that on that at that point um so i try not to do too many things at once i have to focus on a couple things and that may be military when i'm on my drill weekends uh running running lanes or that may be focusing on talking to clients and sales and customer service and, and working on the jobs managing people um but it's just a matter of learning what's what's taking priority at the moment what do you see for the future of our industry for a new generation I see for the future of my industry, a lot of guys are going to need to learn the details. I, I, I wish I, I could, I wish I understood that more when I was starting. Um, I can wrap a pipe with a, with a hot air welder, but it ain't going to look pretty. <laughs> um, I can do it, but I think I wish I would have understood that more about focusing on that time. And it's not always just about getting the job done. It's about getting it done right. Can you tell me a little bit about OPSEC? What do you guys do? Mostly we're a commercial coatings company. So we do a lot of roof coatings. We also do a lot of floor coatings. So I kind of like to say we got you covered from the bottom to the top. Um, so we do concrete coatings. We do some industrial coatings. Um, we've done everything from silicones to acrylics to rubbers to, you know, kind of everything in between. Uh, my business partner, Stan Sari, he, he has a lot of experience in commercial uh, concrete polishing and coatings and overlays. So the two of us kind of join forces and we can kind of handle everything in between roofs, floors, buildings, exteriors, waterproofing. You are coding guys just like myself. So mm -hmm. how about the future of coding? What do you see for the future of coatings? I see for the future of coatings, it becoming a more respected part of the industry. And what I mean by that is I think prior to this coatings came in on the market a little fast before everybody understood what they were and people just thought, Oh, you dump a bucket and you're good to go. But I think we all know you, me, everybody who's doing it understands that just as it's important to know how to do a, a TPO detail on a pipe, cause it's going to be really important for that penetration. 
it's just as important to know how to fabric a coating around a detail that's really difficult. And just like every commercial roof comes down to details, so does coating. It comes down to the prep. I like to tell my customers, you know, you could pay $40,000 for a paint job on your car, but if they don't prep it, if they prep it like a thousand dollar paint job, it's still going to end up like a thousand dollar paint job. It's not going to last longer. You, you're right. And one of the things that I see a lot, and, and that's the main reason why uh, I think uh, the coating has got a bad rep is because of a lack of fab, of course. And sometimes the roof is not a candidate for coatings. You know, people yes. think, you know, coating is a mural in the bucket. Hey, hey, let's dump this here and voila, it's good. So it create a bad reputation. Um, yes. Towards, you know, uh, roofing contractors and business owners, and especially if you go up north. If you go to New Jersey, New York, you know, I'm not trying to criticize any unions, uh, uh, sure. but they are very old school. So when you talk yes. about coatings, they hate it. They say, what are you talking about? Get out of here. You're not a roofer. You're a painter. And you're like, give me right, the torch right. down. But here's the thing. Same thing happened with TPO. 15, 20 years ago, man, roofers, they, they were the same thing too. I'm not going to put a plastic, a tarp on my roof. And yep. look at now, TPO is the number one seller in the United States. So Absolutely. things change all the time. Yes, the technology is not the same like it used to be. Maybe maybe back in the days, the roof was not, I mean, the coating roofs were not that good, but they improved. You know, there's more people invest more. You know, uh, coating is growing, growing, growing fast. And with this economy right now, who knows? It might yes. be the number one, pro in my opinion, about five years from now, they, may, they might come up with a different product that we never heard of. We're like, what the hell is this? Same thing with silicone, right? Yep. Before what that was acrylic, aluminum coating, uh, urethane, and then mm -hmm. silicone came like a, a, a hurricane, man. And boom, yes. and now everyone in the United States uses silicone. Is it the best coatings? Could be, you know. Uh, but there, there are other products that I love. I love urethane. You know, I, I like the acrylic, elastomeric. It depends on what type of roof you Sometimes, you know, you, uh, acrylic. Absolutely. Are you hit the but nail I, on the head. By the end of the day, you know, it's it's all about technology and, and people always try to improve things, you know. So that's my two cents for that, you know. I, I see one of your posts, you use a Geico, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And if I start saying, hey, man, Geico sucks. If I start doing that, meaning that I'm criticizing your job, you know, because maybe you've been doing that for 10 years. How dare me to go and say, hey, Geico sucks. That means your judgment using that product is questionable too as well. So yes, I, I never force, you know, anyone, number one, I'm not a sales rep, so I don't try sure, to sure. be one. But even if I, when I talk to customers, you know, like yourself, roofing contractors, you know, I say, listen, are you happy with what you're using? Oh yes, I'm happy. Continue using it. But here's the thing. Listen to me. Maybe I have a, a, something that they do not have then mm -hmm. might be, you know, an option for you. For me, for product stuff, it comes down to ultimately, does the product work? But also, do I have good service from the rep? And there's been plenty of times where I've called a rep and asked, hey, I have no idea what to do here with this. And they'll come out and they'll help me and help me through the process. They've been to meetings with me. A shout out to Rod Pierce from Geico because he does that a lot. So um, I, I, uh, I appreciate that. And it's a huge, it's, it's nice having, having a dude in your toolbox where you, you can call and it makes, he makes hey, you look you good. make sure you tell him, we're, we're in the video right now. So I'm going to make sure I tell, I'll, I'll tell him, hey, I'm going to go after your customer. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, you're going to be mine, man. Trust me. I'm going to fight for you, brother. Uh, any messages out there for the people watching my video, uh, people that uh, Want to know a little bit more about OPSEC and also a message towards the uh, COVID-19. Any message you have right, uh, for the people watching this video? You know, I would say as far as COVID-19, it's, again, we're blessed to be in an, an industry that, especially, certainly with roofing, we can kind of distance ourselves on the roof while we're working and still get the job done for the customer to get their building taken care of. So we're able to do that pretty well. It hasn't slowed us down much. It has changed how we do some work, just like for everybody else it has. I'm coming soon to your area. We're going to grab lunch together, and we're going to talk about business, all right? It was a blessing talking to you. Thank you so much, buddy. We'll do Be it. Be safe out there, all right? See ya.